Okay. Right. Let's yeah. just say that I was dating somebody yes. and I was like, Lori, yes. I think that this chick may be, or this person, who knows, yeah. gen, non-gender specific person, totally, totally. is maybe not being as faithful as they claim to be. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. And then Lori LD on second. the case. And I'd then like, what happens? I would be like, okay, I'm going to look at her Instagram. Mm-hmm. We're going to go deep, deep, deep. We're going to figure out comments, who's commenting, who's like... Then we'll go and look at tagged oh. photos, see what's going on in the tagged photos. Then you go to the people that they're tagged in the tagged photos, and then you can really find out some shit. Oh, snap. Yeah. It's not, it's, I'm not proud of that. But so <laughs> but that all tracks and it all makes sense. It does. It's yeah. really pretty easy. But you also have a very specific talent, You're like ne- Liam Neeson. Like, I have a very specific set of skills, and your skills are in social media. Yes. Yes. Do you cross platform or are you going? I will cross platforms. I will. I will. I will get into a LinkedIn, and sometimes that'll that'll fuck me up because they'll figure it out because there's always alerts with LinkedIn. Oh no! Yeah. I, one I'm time on I dated LinkedIn. a guy and I like couldn't. He didn't have any social, and so I was like trying to figure out. Like social's nice because you can kind of like figure out somewhat of like what the deal is with the person, yeah, right? You get a or vibe. a vibe, or at least what they want to project to the world. A hundred percent, which a yeah. lot of times is fake, but. Yeah. Like I only, he only had his, um, he only had LinkedIn and he was kind of like not very specific on things. So, and of course, like I was very intrigued, like I got to figure out this mystery. And at one yeah. point I was like, is he homeless? Is he like homeless with married a LinkedIn. or That's is he in a relationship? He had a job, but like, he was like weird. It was very obscure about where he lived and stuff yeah. like that. I mean, and he would tell me is. like different, different streets that like didn't cross. And you I'm ever like, went to his house? No. And that's why I was like, something's up. Did he go to your house? Um, no, we never, like, I never got to a point where I, like, let him come and, like, be a man. <laughs> or come and <laughs> you know, like that kind of thing. We never got intimate to the point where I let him come. <laughs> but, like, Hilarious. But no, like, I, I just was always, like, I couldn't tell. Well, yeah, I mean, if you can't figure out if someone's a psychopath or not, you shouldn't be letting him come. Yeah, and but he had a beard, so I was like, okay, if he was going to kill me, that's too much DNA to drop. That's where you're going with that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Women's minds think so much differently. No, I'm just psycho. <laughs> They're like, oh, well, if he was going to kill me, he wouldn't have a beard. I'm like, that's way too much DNA to drop. And then when he did shave it, I was like, I'm good. Oh, yeah. He sent me, like, just did the shavings in the sink, and he was like, no good things happen after midnight. I was like, does that mean you're going to kill that's me? That's creepy. I know. And then I was like, I'm never talking to you again. And everybody looks good with a little bit of stubs. A hundred percent. Like, that was the big thing is I was like, I don't know what's under there. Yeah. That's always a like I can get with guys with makeup because beards is one of those things where like you don't know what's gonna happen. Mm-hmm.